Welcome to a special edition Seeking Delphi minicast, previewing the 2020 Ending Age-Related Diseases Conference with Keith Comito. I'm Mark Sackler. The future lives here. The conference will be held online August 20th and 21st. Always a pleasure to welcome back Keith Comito of the Life Extension Advocacy Foundation. Keith, welcome. Great. Thanks for having me. So, Keith, we're going to preview uh, just for a few minutes the 2020 Ending Age-Related Diseases Conference. But first, for listeners who may be new or who don't recall, just tell us a little bit about LEAF and what the mission is. Sure. So LEAF is an acronym for the Life Extension Advocacy Foundation, which is a 501c nonprofit with the express mission of raising funds and awareness for research aimed uh, at extending healthy human lifespan and we're most known for our news platform and crowdfunding platform, lifespan.io. The 2020 conference, obviously, in the world of COVID-19, will be virtual. It's coming up toward the end of uh, the next week, the 20th and 21st of August. Now, uh, looking at the conference highlights, I see some familiar faces. There is Aubrey de Grey, Judith Campisi, Steve Horvath, David Wood, names I know as more of generalist futurist with longevity just one of a few areas that I am interested in, but there, there's some new names too. Who, who's, who's new and interesting this year that, that hasn't been on the program before? Sure. Well, I think we have about uh, 40 total speakers thereabouts, so definitely a lot to uh, choose from. So obviously, there are the familiar faces that you mentioned. Some others are you know, Steve Horvath, famous for the epigenetic clock, uh, Irina Convoy from the Convoy Lab at UC Berkeley that has been doing some very interesting uh, research we could talk about later. It has to do with basically blood plasma factors uh, that are involved in aging and how that by removing some of them or adding some young blood factors that might basically help at least mice <laughs> or rats become younger. And also, in addition to the researchers, we have some speakers that are on more of the, say, the investment side or the social outreach side. So for example, some notable figures there would be Sergey Young, who launched the Longevity Vision Fund and has some ties with uh, the XPRIZE Foundation. And we also have a speaker actually from XPRIZE talking about one of their forthcoming, hopefully to be launched prize initiatives for uh, longevity research, which would be excellent. Yes. And in fact, you and I first met and I first met Sergey at the XPRIZE uh, last year in April at the Longevity Roadmap Workshop. One of the things, and this is something that I, of course, ask Aubrey when he's on and I'm going to ask you because you follow it. Uh, are there any particularly interesting new develops or breakthroughs just in the last year that catch your eye that are maybe being talked about at the conference? Yeah, so I would say that there are, I'm sure there's more than this, but I can think of two uh, right off the bat. So one of them was was actually what I was just mentioning. The uh, lab at UC Ber Berkeley, the Convoy Lab, has been showing some very interesting results. So that was a news story that kind of went kind of almost mainstream viral a couple of months ago. You might have seen these headlines that's like epigenetic age of rats cut in half. This was that story. And it looks like it actually might be extremely promising because while it was previously believed that maybe we need to inject factors from young blood plasma into the elderly to make them younger, it might also be the case that almost by doing a process kind of similar to dialysis, you know, plasmapheresis, cleaning the blood of the elderly, that also might achieve a significant longevity effect. So that, that is one to watch very closely. And if I was going to say another one, it would be basically one of the major projects that was announced at our conference last year, and that was uh, Greg Fay's uh, TRIM trial, the one that was combining human growth hormone, uh, metformin, and DHEA that showed an epigenetic age reversal of, I believe, two years thereabouts in uh, the thymus, which is involved in immune system function. So very relevant to the current moment. By the way, I'm going to be 70 this year, but please don't ever call me elderly. Um, <laughs> Older persons. Uh, <laughs> wizened. Elderly starts at about 85 <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, and hopeful, hopefully we'll raise that number faster, faster than I can get there. Uh, so, you know, yeah, you, you brought up something that piqued me because I see uh, David Wood on the program to talk about social issues. I see a panel to talk about the role of media 
in public uh, in in creating the the uh, public or educating the public uh, the public's view of research and as you well know because you participated in my panel on this back in the, the beginning of the year it's an area that as a futurist I'm most interested in and that's not yeah the science is great I try to get my hands around the science but how do we get there and what happens when we do so this seems to be a much broader approach this year and um, I hope I had some influence on that but uh, <laughs> what else is going on to, to, to bring you into that uh, that broader approach this year it's no surprise probably to your listeners to say that it's it's basically the current moment right you know with COVID-19 obviously it's a tragedy and we want it we all want it to be over as soon as possible but that being said it is definitely true that this situation has essentially woken up a much larger sector of the public and other stakeholders like policymakers that aging is really super important to work on because in this case, for example, if we can improve the immune system uh, function of you know, the average American citizen, for example, that would have a, a massive effect on how to mitigate pandemics like this. So that's really creating like a new landscape where just a personal story from my perspective, my phone has never been, you know, more off the hook than it is now with people that you, you wouldn't expect, you know, named politicians, uh, people in the press that want to learn about what can be done here. So in that changing lands landscape, I think it's important to add that component to the conference to say, okay, now that this is happening, how can we now as a field successfully make the value proposition to the public that was always there all along, but now people are listening. Saying that, maybe this is the point to, to, to bring up that I will be a part of, uh, maybe not in the conference, but a part of a project that will be announced at the conference to create a major media public awareness campaign with a movie, a book, social media, and even some branding efforts for the longevity movement. And in a partnership, we uh, hope with the Life Extension Advocacy Foundation. So it looks like you've got some very relevant sessions to uh, to discuss that. In that regard, as far as discussing it, tell us how any of our listeners can get involved and uh, attend. Sure, absolutely. You just can go to the website at lifespan.io slash conference. And from there, you can see all the, you know, the different ticket options. In addition to having regular tickets, there's also uh, some free tickets. So there's no no excuse for your listeners not to at least get those tickets. And that will allow everyone to listen to the keynote talks and the opening talks and hopefully decide then to, to stay for more. And I believe you also have a discount code for your audience that you can share. So feel free to do uh, Yes. And off the top of my head, I can't remember it, but I am going to post it on the website. So sure. uh, I can remember it for you. To the conference. It is uh, Seeking Delphi, E-A-R-D, with the E-A-R-D capital. Ah, there we go. Well, of course, you would remember it. So, anyway, and the, the so S I, speaking and D and Delphi are also, also capitalized in case that matters. Please capitalize it. And uh, you left out the trademark uh, mark, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll, I don't need that in a discount code. Well, anyway, Keith, always, uh, always a pleasure. Really looking forward to some, some fascinating stuff, uh, uh, both again with some familiar faces, some new faces. The, the field is really expanding, and Leaf continues to do great work in terms of uh, keeping us educated in that regard. Absolutely. And I'm very much looking forward to uh, learning more uh, about the project that you are working on, because I think it's going to be very important. Great. Thanks. And we'll see you online next week. Take care. Be sure to check out relevant links to the conference, plus that discount code on the webpage for this podcast at www.seekingdelphi.com. I hope you can join us for the conference and also learn more about the project I mentioned, tentatively titled Life Plus. I'll be featuring a podcast in the near future on the Life Plus initiative with my partners, Greg Grinberg, who is CEO of Actual Foods, and noted filmmaker, writer, and producer, Steve Katz, known professionally as SD Katz. My technical assistant is Mohamed Marouf. Until next time, I'm Mark Sackler.